for more, I'm joined now by Kimberly Bennett, who is the protection advocacy advisor for the Norwegian Refugee Council in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Thanks so much for speaking to us. So, you have thousands of refugees fleeing Thank conflict you. in the DRC, only to end up in camps with very few resources. Just how difficult is it for agencies like yours to provide for those entering Uganda and being internally displaced in the DRC? It's incredibly difficult. Um, we, uh, the human re uh, humanitarian response plan for 2017 uh, was only 52% uh, um, of funds were received. And for 2018, the number uh, of funding that is needed has been doubled to $1.68 billion for the year. Um, so just judging by that and looking at the, the number of internally displaced people that has um, escalated uh, exponentially over the last two months, you can see that the uh, capacity uh, and funding requirements are not able to keep up with the humanitarian needs on the ground. You have agencies, uh, for instance, in North Kivu, which is one of the epicenters of the uh, conflict in the country, uh, in, in the northeastern part of the province, almost 50% of the agencies have had to close and leave because of the lack of funding and lack of capacity. Uh, to, to meet the needs okay, so uh, over the last few months. Why, for example, are only 52% of funds actually being received? If they've been approved, what is the problem uh, with getting the funding to where it's needed? Well, what we need uh, from donors is to be far more ambitious with the, the funding that is coming in and the capacity on the ground. We saw, we saw a little improvement towards the end of the year in terms of funding received as a result of uh, DR Congo being declared a level three emergency by the UN. However, uh, in order for things to improve and in order for this uh, issue to not bleed into other countries, there is a need for donors to recognize that DR Congo isn't simply a conflict that's been lasting over the last 20 years. It's a series of diverse conflicts in many different parts of the country. And we need to make sure that donors are ambitious enough to deal with the need on the ground, as opposed to looking at a figure and leaving it there um, without re-evaluating the risks and alerts on the ground. Okay, Kimberly Bennett, we'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for joining us.